are joined by Julianne Moore. The Oscar-winning actress isn't just a force on the big screen. She's also an author behind the hit children's series Freckle Face Strawberry. I love that name. Thank now you. she's out with a new book, <laughs> Freckle, Freckle Face Strawberry in the Really Big Voice. Mm -hmm. And I have mm -hmm. a question for you. What? What's Who the question? Who has the really big voice? I do! Yes! Yes! I have a big voice. Do you guys have big voices? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. You know what I love about this book and about yes. this series? Th this book talks about an indoor and an outdoor voice. That's correct. But yes. it also teaches kids that it's okay to be different. That's right. That's right. And I think I wanted to I wanted to write about that. That that idea that maybe that that what you have is okay. You know, mm -hmm. it's like whatever you have, if, whatever makes you different is an okay thing, whether you have freckles or a big voice, or you're good at sports, or you're bad at sports or whatever, there's sort of room for all of it. And uh, right. Freckle Face Strawberry was your nickname growing up. Yes, we talked about that, right? That I'm yeah. Freckle Face Strawberry? Yeah. yeah, I always say when I talk to kids, I always say, look at my arms. Have you ever seen so many freckles in your life? <laughs> <laughs> and they usually say, no, they haven't. So but, I take the cake with freckles. But right? my twins are, have yeah. our str strawberry yeah. hair, and, and they have freckles as well, so yeah. I, they can relate to this. Yeah. But I'm curious, are the experiences in the book what you experienced growing up? Oh, yeah, it's all autobiography. Are you kidding? That's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, um, I mean, my, my second book was about dodgeball and about, like, hating mm -hmm. dodgeball. Um, and it's 50-50, people who love dodgeball, people who hate. Well, how do you guys feel about dodgeball? Who loves it? Yeah, who hates it? I was always on that afraid of yeah, dodgeball you, side. No, come on. Yeah, I know I ran into a people for a living like at you? some point. Yeah. But, yeah. but either I was going to hit somebody really hard or I was going to get hit really hard. I didn't right, like that right. aspect it's, of yeah, it. Yeah, it's upsetting. Yeah, so they are books sort of based on what I experienced as a kid growing up. And and, and it's nice to, for, for me now, it's nice to think about what's happening in kids' lives, what's important to them. Yeah. You know, like, and this one's very much about going back to school, right? We have a while before we go back to school. Right, guys? Like a month yeah. or two? Yeah, Are you guys excited yeah. to go back to school? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah, but so are voices louder on the playground or are they louder in class? Playground. Playground, yeah, yeah. So this book starts when they're all on the playground and everyone's sort of making a lot of noise, but then it sort of, you know, then you, they go to school and they have different kinds of voices, right? Well, I'll tell you what, they yeah. already, obviously, they know that they know this book and you've inspired <laughs> a lot of them some very well-behaved kids, by the way. But these you've inspired, great kids. you inspired so many kids who read these books and we have Lily here and yeah. Lily has a question for you. What's your question, Lily? What? My question is, is is Freckle Face Strawberry everyone's friend? Yes, she is everyone's friend because Freckle Face Strawberry is me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be friends with all of you. So well, you. How about that? I like that. Yeah. You feel like friends? What do you think? Friends? Yes! Yes! All right, right I feel a play date coming That's on now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you, you also said growing up that uh -huh. books played a big role in your yeah. life. So what were, what were some of your favorite books when you were growing up? Oh, I loved all the Louise, Louise May Alcott books. All, mm -hmm. you know, Little Women and all the books that fall. I loved those. I loved Laura Ingalls Wilder. Do you guys read Little House on the Prairie and all those books? You know those books? Yeah. I could not get my daughter to read those, no matter how hard I tried. <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I liked anything that, that had a girl at the center of the story, really. That's mm -hmm. what I was looking for, a reflection of my own experience. And the great thing about reading is that it kind of, it, it leads you, you know, you find, you always think as a kid when you read something, well, how do they know that about me? Yeah. And that's where you learn about the universality of experience, you know. So that's why I think books are important, because it's a way for a kid to find themselves. Well, I'll tell you right now, you're helping them with this freckle face strawberry <laughs> and a really big voice. I'm glad you wrote this. I mean, these kids love it. And I think a great example for my kids as well. So Freckle Face Strawberry and the really big voice is available now. Julianne Moore, everybody. And thank you so much again.